downtown Phoenix. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Arizona Diamondbacks. First pitch coming your way next. Coming up on the first pitch, getting the nod in this one, Zach Davies. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Rymel Tapia up to hit. The pitch. And that is in for a strike. And with that, we're underway here in the desert. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, yeah. now. That one just misses. It's a good take. Next pitch is oh, outside. Lifted in the air, right center field. McCarthy trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting second. The right fielder, number 99. Alex. Here's Alex Verdugo. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. There's a strike. Next offering in the dirt. Two and one. Gets the outside corner with that one. Next pitch is outside. Full count now. And it's ball four. He missed down low. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. Justin. Turner climbs in on that right side. Ball one, no strikes. And he deals. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. Two, two, it's two and two. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. The 2-2 two -two now. And that's outside. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Three two now. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. 
Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. That a four. Now here is Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. McCarthy makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox, and now Arizona gets its first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in the desert, and our starting pitcher here today, Cutter Crawford. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. Bottom of the first, and now the DH, Paven Smith. Fastball in for a strike, going one. Left hand hitter waits. Slapped foul. Oh, and two now. Ball one, one there. Ball, two strikes. And two another ball. ball. Two oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Left hand batter waits. And now it's Three filled two. up. And a swing and a miss. One out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against that a hitter like this, right. known for the using the entire game. field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that Marte. one. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. Pitch misses inside, inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. He was all over third. that one. No, Couldn't get any three. air under it, but he Four smoked there. that ball back up the middle. Zero. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. This is Corbin Carroll. Hit hard, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Batting four. He put a great swing on the that ball, took the base. barrel right to it. First nice there. extension as well. 105 oh, exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. And now it's Christian Walker. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment. Turner He's to out. second, and that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Back here at Chase Field, top of the second. Now batting Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. Davies back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. The 0-2. 
battling here as he fouls it away. And the 0 2. And he hits a ground ball right side. And quickly oh. one away in the second. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. The first baseman, Tristan, Tristan. Casas. Now batting Tristan Casas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one the other way. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. And that's a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel Daddy, any Daddy, vibration Daddy. in your hands whatsoever. Okay. Such a good feeling. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Kike Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. And ball one. one. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone, Boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Next pitch is in the dirt. The count now two and two. The two two. In the air, right field. And it stays fair. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Back to back base hits. When you pop the a ball up like base. that, you don't and expect Manuel. it to get you a knock ball too ball. often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. So stepping in for Boston, number 47. And there's a foul ball. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. you one. Little chopper rolls foul. Going two now. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Here's Reese McGuire in there, and it's 0-1. No score here in the second. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The 0-2. Oh, mm. Just misses there. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. Runners on first and third, two away. And the next pitch is way outside. Hard ground ball for a base knock. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0.
a perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Rymel Tapia. 0 for 1 so far. That one pulled foul. The 0 1. Hey! All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. Oh, and two now. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Hernandez coming home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Guriel. And the first oh, pitch misses good. for ball one. Righty delivers. Lined, and that's a base hit. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. The Absolutely base hammered base. that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here's Josh Rojas. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All one's the count. At the belt and fires. Aye. And that drops in for a strike. Ball, two With strikes. two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Just off inside the inside ball. corner. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. That one at 95 missed up top. And that is ball one. Good eye Whoa, right there. The that one missed. Three. Now three and oh. Three and oh. The pitch. And a four pitch walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. Right and that agree. last one the right didn't way. even threaten the zone. Catcher yeah, yeah. might want to go talk to him. So first and second with one man gone. Next to hit for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. Found back our way, and that's out of play. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. One out. Runners at first and second. That's off the, the mark there. And now it's even one and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. On a line. 
Duran puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Batting nine. The, the shortstop. Geraldo. Geraldo Perdomo now at the plate. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Next offering is outside. Just missed. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. First and second, two down. Into center. Duran brings it in, and that'll do it. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Red Sox one, and the Diamondbacks nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Alex Verdugo. Number 99, Alex Verdugo. Davies back to work. And delivers outside. Verdugo, 26 years old. He's playing today in his home state of Arizona. Clips the corner, and that is strike one. The pitch. Line drive makes the grab one away. Now that the third base is Justin Turner. So now Turner in on that right side. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Oh, that two-seam fastball is a great pitch from a right-hander to a right-handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. Inside corner for a strike, and it's one and one. One down, base is empty. That one a little bit high, and it's two and one. Two balls, one strike. Fouled off. He was late. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. This one in the air, right field. McCarthy trying to get there. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's now two down. Left field. Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida digs in now. Yoshida throws right, bats left. Batting in the cleanup spot, and he was born in Japan. That's in there. That's strike one. And now the 1. Ground ball to the right side. Walker oh. takes it to the bag. Red Sox go 1 2 3. Nothing doing for Boston. They lead it 1 nothing. As we go Leading to the last of the third. Back. Here's the Diamondbacks leadoff hitter, hitter, Paven Smith. Smith. The right hander back to work. That's and downstairs. Hey. That clips the corner.
Lined, and that's a base hit. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Could tell Marte up to the plate. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. There's a strike. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, just misses. No outs, runners at first and second. Next pitch is outside. And here it comes. Ball, that's too high. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position and a hitter's count. Christian Walker waits on deck. And they're all loaded nope. up. Ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, now, and this is one three. of them right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Christian Walker. The opportunity for a huge inning exists right here. Base is loaded. Nobody out. But as a hitter, can't be over anxious. That pitcher's up against the wall. Make him come to you. In the air on the infield, and the infield fly is called. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive in the center field. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And the right hater deals. And that one fouled off. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Base is loaded, one away. In the air, center field. Brings it in. Runner tags from third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass now to the baseball. Third base. Now the third baseman, Josh Rojas. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Off the mark there. 1 and 0. Oh. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0. Oh, he's put himself in a really good spot. The pitch. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that will end the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. On to inning number four. 
all tied 1-1. Out of the fourth, and stepping in is the speedy Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. And the right hander back to work. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. That one missed. 2 0. The wind to kick the 2 0. A little out front there as he swings through it. In the air on the infield. And there's one down. The bat. The first base. And stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. One for one with a double and a run score. In there for strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict well, baseball. Next one misses, and the count even one and one. The why to kick the pitch. Falling behind two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The two one. Just Whoa, off the outside down. edge. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. Ground ball up the middle. Marte tosses the first two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. And next for the Red Sox, Enrique Hernandez. In the air, right side. And that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Up next for the Red Sox. The, the second base and Manuel Valdez. Valdez. So stepping in for Boston, number 47. Struck out swinging his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Check swing, oh, went around. Oh, and two now. Man on second, two down. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Around third. He'll score, and a 2 1 ball game now. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Reese McGuire, the next to hit, singled and drove in a run his first time through. And strike one to the catcher. In there at the knees, and the count is 0-2. Davies throw to first, he's and he's back in easily.
The 0-2. And one. that's down it away. One ball, two strikes. And a 1-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. One and two now. Out there to center. Dives. What a play. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder. You lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the boys fired up in the dugout. Ready to go. Bottom Leading four. Up. Now the D-backs catcher, Gabriel the Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. The wind and the pitch. That nope. misses the Ball zone, one. and it's one to know. You know, these D-backs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only Ball given up down. one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Right through there for a strike. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Next ball pitch three. misses, and that's ball three. And he walked him. Take your base. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient Way at the play, the game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Jake McCarthy will hit next. He's over one. Ground ball left side could be two. Hernandez over to second. A sensational double play. No well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Just missed. The 1 0. Swings through that one. Ball, one. one strike. Just in, missed. Ball two. Next one Whoa, is off the play, and that's ball three. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And a payoff pitch. In the air, left field. Yoshida makes the play, and it's out number three. Nothing doing here this half. We played four. It's the Red Sox two, and the Diamondbacks one. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, Dre Jameson. He's been so good against lefties. Now pitching for the Diamondbacks. Number 99, Dre Jameson. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Rymel Tapia. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Jose Ruiz up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. Next pitch Boy, misses what? way outside. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, digging for two. 
Now around second, going for third. And he's got a leadoff triple. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really nice job to take that inside pitch and pull it into the gap. He could have easily spun off of it or just been tied up. He stayed short to the baseball, and he was thinking triple right out of the box. Alex Verdugo up next for the Red Sox. First nope, pitch doesn't the find the zone. Kicks and fires. Outside corner, there's a strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. The run scores from third. It's 3-1. Verdugo into second, and he's got a double. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Here's Justin Turner. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That's in there. That is strike two. Oh, and two. No outs. Runner on second. That one, one misses. Two now strikes. one and two. And now two and two. Three, two now. That one, 95 to finish him off. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mid, you think it's a ball off the plate away. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. In the air, left field, down the line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a foul straight back. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch is outside. And he grounds one back up the middle. Perdomo on to first. Two away. Now that the center fielder, Jerry Duran. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jaron Duran. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And a good fastball oh, to start him off. That's strike one. And the pitch. Ball. That misses off the outside edge. Yeah, ball, one strike. Let's get a K. Come on. 
And that one wrapped foul. Two outs with a runner at third. Pitch misses there, and the count is even two and two. Two, balls, two strikes. And now that it's filled up. Two. Tristan Casas on deck for Boston. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that's a fair ball. In comes the run from third to add on. It's 4-1. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Now batting. Takes an inside pitch and just fillets it over there to left field. And that's all he had to do is get something to the outfield grass to push that run across. Tristan Casas now at the plate. One for two. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. All one's the count. Man at second. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Perdomo oh. on to first. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox four and the Diamondbacks one. Back here in the desert, John Shabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Hayden Smith. Smith. The pitch. Yeah. On the corner for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Strike hey. two. two. The wind of the pitch. And one and two. O2 two pitch strikes. that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Righty to the plate. Ball two. Two two the count. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Just Three off balls, the outside strikes. part of the plate. Fly ball down the line. Yoshida. Long run on his horse. Oh, and he can't ball. quite get there. It's a foul ball. And the righty deals. Ah. Got him. And one gone. Really good battle right there. And that final pitch probably could have gone either way. He was hoping he'd get ball four. Instead, the umpire rings him off for the backwards K. Marte. Here's Cattell Marte. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. On the ground right side. Whips it to Casas. They get the out on Marte. The center fielder, number seven, Corbin. So two down now, and here is Corbin Carroll. This guy has turned into a beast. That one finds the zone. Strike one. And a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 no hole. Ball, He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The 
going to count one, one and two. Two strikes. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. On the warning track. And hauls it in. And the Diamondbacks down in order. And this is still a 4-1 ball game. Welcome back. There's the shortstop at the play. Enrique Hernandez. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And there's a strike. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And he deals. And now one, one and two. two. And it's even yep, up. That ball went out. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher no, wanted, no, no. but it worked. This he got the amazing. swing and miss, and Manuel. I'm sure a bit of sigh of oh, relief man. after seeing that one go through the zone. Let's go Number 47, hey. batting with one down, takes a strike. Hey. That one's in there. That's strike two. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounce to third. Rojas throws on to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. The catcher, number three, Reese McGuire. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Reese McGuire. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. Now fly ball to right center. McCarthy settles under it. And that is that. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. The Red Sox four and the Diamondbacks one. Back here at Chase Field. Well, we go bottom six. Now at the plate, Christian Walker. Crawford back to work. Walker what? measures six feet even, 210 pounds. And he's a former National League Gold Glover. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Joely Rodriguez getting ready to go. Pavetta warming up as well. That pitch in for a strike, and the count is one and one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Casas makes the play, and there's one down. The left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. That's inside, and it's a ball and a strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And now two and one. One strike. That catches the corner. Next offering upstairs. Count. 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Next to hit, Josh Rojas. His splits between April and May there. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Popped in the air, left field. Yoshida settles under it and makes the catch. Two away. The catcher number 14, Gabriel Moreno. And the batter now, Gabriel Moreno. First offering, and it just misses. To the left side, but it is well foul. Kicks and deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. One left for the Diamondbacks. And they trail it 4-1. Andrew Chafin enters the game. 25th appearance of the year for him. Number 32, Andrew. Andrew. Shape Now it's the DH, Rymel Tapia. The designated hitter, Rymel Tapia. And a pitch. Fastball for a strike. 0-1. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. At the belt and fires. On the ground. Throw to first. Oh. Great stretch, and they got him. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. Alex Verdugo digs in now. Taps softly to the right side. On the run, throw to first. And two away to start the seventh. The third base is number two, Justin. Justin Turner now. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move through the at-bat. Two down, nobody on. That one the other way. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Red Sox go down quietly, but they lead it 4-1. For the traditional seventh inning stretch. We're Ladies back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Joely Rodriguez. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Joely Rodriguez. And now the right fielder, Jake McCarthy. The Diamondbacks in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. And that one lifted in the air center field. Duran makes the catch, and there's one gone. The batter, the batter number, number two, two 
Shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. First offering misses the mark. Out to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Slings to first. And that quickly two away. Up next to the Diamondbacks. The designated hitter. Paven. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Paven Smith the next to hit. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. And the 1-0. On the corner for a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. you got to find a way to shake it off, go up there, and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Two outs. Splits the plate. And the count. One and two. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Duran under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. All set for the start of the Leading inning. Off, and off, stepping off. in for Boston, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. And the pitch. That one missing inside. inside. So two balls and no strikes. 2-0. Just missed. Left hand hitter waits. And there's ball four. Take your base. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. That's a strike. Going one. And now the lefty in the air, left side. Guriel trying to get there. Makes the catch for the out. Up next to the Red Sox. The first, the first baseman, baseman Tristan. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. That's about a right here. Fought off foul. Here's the 0-2. One ball, two strikes. And two a ball, ball evens the count. Strikes. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Now two out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between, just not able to put the bat on the ball. Man at first, Enrique Hernandez up next for the Red Sox. Come on, 
Ball one, Ball no jump. strikes. And a swing and a miss. One and one. pitch and now it's even up that's a little bit low great RBI spot here just got to stay focused on the pitch the runner will be in motion so something in the gap should definitely score it swing and a miss struck him out couldn't hit the fastball at the knees and the Red Sox leave one as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Chris Martin. Well, he hasn't pitched in a while, coming on here after five days rest, so he should be rested, but we'll see if he has any rust to shake off. Cattell Marte stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The second baseman. Got to keep things airtight defensively right here. Oh, on your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The pitch. Yeah. That clips the corner. Good eye right there. The 1-1. One -one. And yeah, that's too high. Two balls, one strike. The 2 2. To third, Turner collects it. Sends it across oh. to first. One up, one down. Now, now got it. Center fielder, Corbin. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Almost drove one out of here last time up. Flied out to the warning track. In there, and it's 0-1. Martin, he's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up Ks. The 0 one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable, and when you only see him once, a lot of times he has success. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One out, runner at second. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. This one in the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. Got to be clever, too, when you don't have that lights-out stuff, right? Absolutely. Yeah, you got to know what you're able to do instead of focusing right. on what that hitter's strength is. Stay with your strength and trust that you'll come out on top. Now three nope. and okay. oh. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Right handed reliever. Fouls one away and now three and two.
hit softly on the ground to third. Turner to first. He's out. Two away. Now batting. The left fielder. Lourdes. Gurriel. Now the left fielder, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Singing, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know I like to talk about, I'm not sure where their clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots. And that's in there for strike one. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. Next offering is fouled back. If you're a guy that can only hit to one field, then you're really not going to be able to come through in clutch situations because pitchers are going to adjust. But because he's able to use the entire field, that's why he's so successful in these situations. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Runner leads away at second. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. And now it's one and two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Runner at second, two down. Out towards right center field. Verdugo makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Number 30 on the pitch here. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Here's the second baseman, number 47. The second baseman, and Manuel Valdez. And the pitch. And the slider catches the zone. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch he'll see in this at bat to oh, hit. Right. Next offering upstairs. Ball and two. another ball. 2-1. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Well, that splitter out of the hand. It just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top. And that's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four seamer. McGuire in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Activity in the Arizona bullpen. Kevin Ginkle up and throwing for manager Tori Lavello. The 1-0. There's a strike. To the right side, Marte. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. The batter, batter number 10. 10. Designated, designated hitter, hitter. Ryan Wall. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Rymel Tapia up next for the Red Sox. In there for strike one. Oh, and one. Oh, 
swing and a ball lifted in the air shallow left field that gets down for a hit and that keeps the inning alive throw gets by him at second the right fielder number 99 Alex and next for the Red Sox Alex Verdugo and that's in for a strike Throw to first. Tapia back in on a dive. And it's one and one. And here it comes. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Popped up. Rojas makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. So one hit is all they get. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. The Red Sox four, and the Diamondbacks one. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Kenley Jansen. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one now, of the better now, ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's Number very high, and it just breaks a ton. Josh Rojas getting ready to hit. The third baseman. Kenley Jansen's been one of the best closers we've seen over the course of the past decade. Chris, he's moved into the top ten all time in saves. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. Kenley is also the Dodgers' all-time saves leader with an even 350. And the right-hander deals. Out to short. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Gets it to first. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Oh, move. We talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Gabriel Moreno stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The old one. Now one and one. Righty delivers late that time, and it's strike ball, two. Two strikes. And a one-two again. Ground ball left side. Whips it to Casas. And they're down to their last out. The right fielder, number 31. Jake McCarthy. So digging in, Jake McCarthy. Can't glove it cleanly. Yeah. And now the shortstop, no Peraldo no Perdomo. Shortstop, Peraldo. Yeah, and one thing about Kinley, that cutter, just devastating. It reminds me of Mariano Rivera, just how dominating that pitch can be.
First Ball offering and it inside. just misses. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Righty to the plate. And yeah, that's a little high. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy no guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And he deals. Good eye right there. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run in the on-deck circle. He's got to find the strike zone. Kicks and fires. And ball four, two aboard. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even oh, much to think I about. The Next is the designated hitter, Payton Smith. Smith. There's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Foul ball. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. The tying run at the plate. Ball one. And one and two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Pitch misses outside. Two and two. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Hit slowly on the ground. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 4-1 the final here today. Kenley Jansen picking up the save for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Pitch coming at you right after the break. Coming up on the first pitch, and today's starting pitcher, Eduardo Rodriguez. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Ready to go now? Here's the veteran Leading shortstop, the Tim the Anderson. Anderson. The shortstop, the shortstop. Tim, Tim Anderson. Anderson. The wind of the pitch. Close, nope, but called a ball. And this one is off and running. Ball. Next offering upstairs. Two balls, no strikes. The wind of the pitch. 
And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swings through that one. Two balls, two strikes. And downstairs. And he deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. The 3-2 no, no, is ball. off Take the it, outside it. edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but Leading just couldn't quite the clip the, the zone. That's a stone-cold take. Like Here's Aloy, Aloy Jimenez. Jimenez. In yeah. there for strike one. In the air to left center. Green calls it in, and there's one away. Batting third, the center fielder, Luis Robert. And now it's Luis Robert. Good power, not great in the OBP department. That one called a strike, and it's 0-1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And now the 1 just oh, off, off the, the outside part of the plate. Two balls, and a pitch strike. out, but no steal, and it's ball two. The pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the pitch. And now the count yeah, filled up count. three and two. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Now snap throw to first, and he's back standing. Here comes a pitch. Good plate That's appearance ball there. Ball. Able to take the walk. Two walks in the first has to be some cause for concern. I mean, you're talking about a guy you want to pitch deep into the ball game. It's not going to help with the pitch count Andrew. right there. They can't afford to hand out free bases at this rate. Andrew Vaughn now. First ball, pitch just nice. misses. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. So two balls and no strikes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Yeah, the 2 1 hammered but foul. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Next Thank one you. just misses. And the count's full. Yasmani Grandal up next for the White Sox. One out. Runners at first and second. Three. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Just locked him up right there for the second out. And that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. 
Run not how you want to go down in an RBI spot. So now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. And strike one to the catcher. Fought off foul. First and second, two down. Out to short, Baez. Out number oh. three. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. And now the Tigers get their first opportunity. No score. Back at Comerica Park. And our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. Well, it hasn't been a great year so far in terms of ERA, but he's had some decent games, and there have been some flashes of greatness, if you will. We'll see today if he's able to get ahead of hitters and perhaps get some swings and misses, put himself in a position to, to bring that well, ERA hard. down, because you know well, in the back of his hitter. mind, beyond the W, he wants to have a better earned run average. And now the DH, Zach McKinstry. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. The one, two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a one, two. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Riley Green. That misses oh, off that? the outside edge. Cease. He gets a lot of swing and miss, and he keeps the ball in the yard. Not to mention the fact, not too many hits either. Left hand batter waits. And another ball. Even some of the best guys in the sport are going to give up home runs from time to time, and he's an exception. Yeah, and even with those home runs, if you're throwing strikes and keeping base runners off the paths, then those home runs are solo shots. But to this point, he hasn't had to worry about it. Batting third. Not short now it's out. Javier Baez. Javier. Baez. Baez. First nope. offering, Ball and it one. just misses. You look at what the elite guys do. They strike guys out, they limit walks, and they limit the ball going out of the park. Hey, now, let's go. The 1-0. You see the velocity, one one. 97 with that fastball. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. two yeah, all you want is a guy like that. Take the ball every fifth day. Go out there, hand it over to the bullpen, perhaps in the seventh inning or later. Aye. Struck him out looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that Got slider made him look. That was just That's nasty. Perfect. So here's the cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. That one's in there, 0-1. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. No Ahead of two in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Oh, and two now. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. And he's in to score position with two gone on the wild pitch.
Man at second. And now two and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Just missed. Nick Maton up next for the Tigers. So now two on and two outs. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Nick Maton, the next to hit. That one's in there. Strike one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next pitch misses. One and one. Two outs. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The one two. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Second inning set to go. Here's a big power threat. Jake Berger. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's exactly inside. One. And that one no, no. cutting but missing down low. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson to some book, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Next offering is fouled back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The next offering misses. Three and one. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. And here's a 3-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Veerling makes the grab one down. Batting, so digging in, Jackson Frazier. Jackson Frazier. In there, and it's 0-1. No score here in the second. Here's the 0-2. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Hunter Alberto up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. 0-1. Fouled off. He was late. 
the pitch. Swing and a pop up. Throw on to Torkelson. Third out, and that ends the frame. Nothing across here this half. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second. Here's a speed threat. Akil Badu. No left fielder. Akil Badu. Cease. Back to work. Just off the inside edge. Swing, and this one's bounced that to the ground. Foul. And that's just foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss there. One ball. Great deception with the change up there, and it's all about arm speed. If that arm speed can look just like the fastball, a lot of times you'll get that hitter to swing and miss. The punch out there, down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late, gave up on it a little bit early. Eric Haas, the next to hit, takes outside. Next nope. pitch is inside, inside. two and oh. Right hander kicks deals. Now he breaks his bat. Vaughn puts it away, and there are two outs. Batting it. The, right the right field. field. So two down now, and here is Matt Veerling. And the first pitch ball misses for ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And now it's even up. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. And here it comes. Slider oh, misses outside. Out. Just off the outside two. edge. Come back to the mound. And it gets by him. Batting nine. The second baseman. Now it's Zach Short. Put that 600 Short. slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Throw to first. Veerling back easily. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Good eye right there. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Swing and a ball popped up. Gonzalez puts the squeeze on that one, and that is that. One left for Detroit. We'll move to the third with no score. Yeah. 
And welcome back. And stepping in is the speedy Romy Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Rodriguez back to work. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Inside, oh, inside just missed. To third. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Just one of those seen high base hits oh, through the infield. He just kind of rolled the over on it a little side. bit, but sometimes Andrew. those can find Andrew. a hole and get you a knock. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Tim Anderson. Pitch misses nope. inside. inside. One and oh. Runner at first with no outs here. That one missed. Kicks and deals. Ripped into center base hit. Green hurries it back in, and it's now first and second to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Aloy Jimenez now, 0 for 1 so far. That's in for a strike. 0 1's the count. That one is absolutely belted. That's got a chance. And it hits the fence. One runs in. Now a relay to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. And they take a two-run lead. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball up. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Luis Robert now. Pulls that one foul. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs. And that's a fair ball. Jimenez coming home. He'll score, and they lead by three. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Andrew Vaughn. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That one misses. And that's ball one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. And now the lefty. Ball, that's just out. No outs. Runner on second. And that's outside. Yep, out. Three balls, no strikes. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations. And right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. Ah. Next offering finds the zone of the count is full. We got a full count. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Badu makes the grab on the run. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Yasmani Grandal. Come 
in there for strike one. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Oh, and two now. Ball one. Upstairs. Got it by him for the K. Now bad. Here's Jeff the White Sox DH, Jay Jake Berger. Berger. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Runner at second, two down. The next pitch the misses, plate, and the count is one and one. Runner leads away at second. Just Ooh, off the inside nice. edge. Hey. And that one is in Ooh. for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers nothing. As we go Leading to the up, last of the, the third, Tigers. stepping in, the Zach McKinstry. Zach. McKinstry. The wind and the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next pitch is downstairs. Started to go to one, two. A check on it to third, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Gary Simmons. Bounced up the middle. Nice grab. Fires to first. He's Got out. him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off now base. The center fielder, Riley. Digging Green. in, Riley Green. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Pitch misses inside, inside and it's one to know. To the right side, Gonzalez. And two He's straight out. set down to begin the bottom of the third. Up next, Up next to the Tigers. Tigers. The shortstop, Javier Baez. The batter now, Javier Baez. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Javier Baez, who hails from Puerto Rico, he was the ninth overall pick in 2011 by the Cubs, and what a fun player to watch. Won the World Series in 2016. He was the NLCS MVP. Now this down the right field line. Fair ball. Should be extra bases. Oh, the throw is wild. And now, Spencer Torkelson. And first offering is fouled off. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that can be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Eight. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Hit 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's the third out. Inning over. Tigers leave one. Still down 3-0. Back here in Detroit, Rudy out of the fourth, here's the left fielder, Jackson Frazier. Jackson Frazier. The pitch. There's the strike of the knees. 0 oh 1. Oh and 2 as he waves oh at that down. one. Good eye right there. Next offering misses. Now two and two. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing now, more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Alberto in now. Takes ball one off the plate. There's a strike. One down, base is empty. That's outside. This to center field. Green on the run. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's two down. The batter, the batter number two. two. Second, Second base. base. Romy Gonzalez Romy. steps Gonzalo. to the plate for the White Sox. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Torkelson makes the grab on the run. So they make short work of him there. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Nick Maton. Maton. The pitch. This one lifted in the air, left field. Frazier hauls it in, and there's one away. Now got it. Left fielder. Field. And next to hit for Detroit, Akil Badu. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Yeah. Slider clips the zone. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice oh job my. of it. Next one misses. And yeah, the count, one and two. It's a good take. And a pitch. Three. Goes down looking. Oh, man, just locked him up with now that down slider, down. even the though it caught down. a lot of the zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that tells you all you need oh. to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. 
And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. New inning Leading getting started. White Stepping White in, the, the White Sox leadoff man, Tim, Tim Anderson. Anderson. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah, and it was a movie that Tim Anderson had never seen. You know, these White Sox doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Foul ball still 0-2. And, and a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The 0-2. Tapped back up the middle. The throw to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. The bat. The right field. Aloy. So up next for Jimenez. Chicago, Aloy Jimenez. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye in that spot. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. 2-2 now. And now it's filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Got him swinging. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Robert up for the third time and takes ball one. Now a screamer into the outfield. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really spun on that pitch and ripped it down the line, and it couldn't have been much closer to ending up in foul territory, but it did just sneak in there for the base hit. Good job by the defense as well to hold it to a long single. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox. Andrew no, Vaughn. Rodriguez checks over to first, and he's back. Ball one, oh, no man. strikes. And a pitch. Robert on the go. Nope. There's a ball. Throw to second. Great jump. And that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. 2-0 to Cal. Here it comes. Whoa, that one drifts inside. Yasmani Grandal in the on-deck circle for the White Sox. And the 3 0 finds the zone. Ah. 
And a foul ball. That one lifted to left. Badu brings it in for the third out. So a man left for the White Sox, but they lead it 3 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Matt Veerling. Veerling. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Tigers just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. The 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Righty delivers. Set down on strikes. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Zach Short up now for the Tigers. The offense needs to start showing some fight against this starter. He's doing his thing out there. They're going to have to push back at some point. And oh, that one rides up and in. There's a strike. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. That one to first. Vaughn takes it. it himself. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Now yeah. uh, the designated hitter. Zach, Zach McKinstry up now for the Tigers. First offering misses the mark. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. There's a strike. One and one. The one one is fouled off. And That's now the count deep. is even. Back foot slider struck him out. Tigers are shut down there. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Michael Lorenzen taking over on the mound. He pitched yesterday, and we'll Ladies see him once day. again. Your attention, please. Now, Yasmani Grandal now at the plate. Michael Grandal in his 11th season, 34-year-old vet, and he was born in Cuba. The pitch, and that drops in for a strike. Tigers bullpen with some action. Mason Engler getting loose for AJ Hinch. And that one is lifted in the air. Badu under it. Puts the squeeze on it. One away. Now bad. Designated hitter. Jake. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. Pitch no. misses inside, and that is ball one. That's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch.
The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. The so credit the pitcher ball. for having him out in yeah, front of that pitch. Is. Clearly he had him fooled. Jackson Frazier steps to the plate for the White Sox. Yeah, let's go, There's a strike. And that one hit to first, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Frazier into second, and he's got a double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two down. Hanser Alberto steps to the plate for the White Sox. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the right-hander deals, and it's one and one. Next offering is fouled back. Struck him out swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Saw they can't do anything with a two-out double. Two, three, four, do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers nothing. Back at Comerica Park. Here's the center fielder, Riley Green. The center fielder, Riley Green. Cease back to work. Outside. Outside, that's a ball. The wind of the pitch. Nope, Just missed. Ball. Two balls, no strikes. And now two balls and a strike. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to All commit three. to one velocity and stay there. Hard hit, left side. Zips it to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Now I always remember back. watching Johan Santana up. pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see oh, yeah. a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Baez in the box now. No balls and a strike. 0-1. Into center. Robert moves under it. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. First, First baseman. baseman. Spencer. Spencer Torkelson. Torkelson. Up now for the Tigers. Struck out on just three pitches last time. There's a strike. Not one close ball, one with strike. that one. And now it's even one and one. Lifted in the air, right center field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that'll do it. Down in order go the Tigers. They trail it here, 3 nothing. And welcome back. And now here is Romy Gonzalez. Romy Gonzalez. Here comes a pitch. 
Ball one there. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. And a foul ball left side. And he deals. And a foul ball. The one two keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The one two. And that one oh, missing that inside. And there's a ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. The 3-2 is off the outside Perfect. edge, and that is ball four. Now a great back and forth, and that at bat. He had to lay off some Leading really off close side. pitches, and somehow, side. Boogie, found yeah, a way yeah. to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Anderson stands in now and watches strike one. Righty to the plate. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Veerling makes the play, and there's one down. The bat, the, bat. the right, right fielder, field. Aloy. Aloy. Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. One for three. First offering ball misses one, no badly break. for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. The pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Green makes the grab for the second out. The bat. The, bat. the center, the center fielder. fielder, Luis, Luis Robert. Roberts. And now the center fielder, Luis Robert. And the first oh pitch God, misses yeah. for ball one. There's a strike. The one one is fouled off. And it's even up. Popped up. Short drifts towards it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. The White Sox leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, Nick Maton. The Tigers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The wind and the pitch. Right side. And it gets by him. Oh. 
Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that one off the outside edge. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. Oh, that's Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and And the pitch. Double play ball to second. Over to Anderson. Ah. On the ball, two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you no, don't no, really no. get to get appreciate through. all of the yeah, finer right. details and how these guys ah. execute them. Right there, really nice footwork, and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Here's the catcher, Eric Haas. First pitch, and he just misses. Count one and oh. Slider clips the corner. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Alfredo Montez appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Middleton getting loose as well. That hits the dirt. And that's ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you. That he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing plate. 2-2. Two -two. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. The pitch. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Now fly ball to right center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers nothing. So they turn things over to one of their young arms, Mason Engler. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. Andrew Vaughn Leading steps to the plate the for the White Sox. The first, first baseman is number 25, 25 Andrew, Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn. The pitch. Nope. A little bit low. Ball one. Ball one, no strikes. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. And yeah, oh, the one-two misses to even the count. On, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just now, comes down to not okay. seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Yasmani Grandal steps to the plate for the White Sox.
And the first it's pitch misses forward. for ball one. And that's in for a strike. Activity in the bullpen for Detroit. Jason Shreve, the left-hander, up and throwing. And here it comes. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And a pitch. And now it's filled up. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. That one out to right. Veerling under it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. Now batting, the designated hitter. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Go to one. Oh. Now one and one. One and one. Next offering oh. way upstairs. And the righty deals. Three and two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because well, if you be pitch up. to the previous yeah, hitter yeah, with the power he yeah. has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. In the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the White Sox three and the Tigers nothing. Back here in Detroit, Leading and now the right fielder, the Matt Veerling. The right fielder, Matt Veerling. The line of the pitch. And there's the strike. Good eye right there. And a pitch. That one the other way. Hauls it in, one away. Now batting, the second baseman, Zach. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Short. That's in there. That's strike one.
That's oh. down and in. Oh, he's just about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's got a chance to get through this eighth inning if he can get two more quick outs. The 1-1 is fouled off. And yeah, that's outside. Comes a 2 2. And another that's ball. Cool. And there's ball four. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's now looking a little that. fatigued to me. That's a good hitter. Now it's the DH, Zach McKinstry. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you got a lockdown closer ready to come in. In there, and it's 0 and 1. And there's a foul ball. Now oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. The 0 2. Lined in the left center, base hit. Lead runner around second. Throw into third. And the throws off line, safe at third. Nice job now of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Dylan Cease, done for the afternoon, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Keenan Middleton on a pitch out of the now pen here. The he line. last pitched two days ago. Keenan Middleton. And now it's going to be Riley Green. That one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The whoa, next whoa. offering misses, and that's ball one. one ball. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. The tying run at the plate. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. I mean, with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. Baez in the box now. Take strike one. At the belt and fires. Ball, that's out. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. That misses. Two, two and two. two. Line drive. Makes the catch. Inning over.
Tyler Alexander on the pitch here. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. And now, Hanser Alberto. Here comes a pitch. That clips the corner. Alexander, a 6-2 southpaw. He throws a cutter, a four-seamer, a sinker, a changeup, and he works in a slider. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. And delivers outside. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. He was a batter all over that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Man at first, next to hit, Romy Gonzalez. Bounce to the right side, sneaks through, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. The batter, the batter number, number seven, seven. shortstop. Short and Tim the batter will be the shortstop, Anderson. Tim Anderson. He's going, he's going. Double steal. Cut on and miss. And the throw, he's out at third. One out and a runner at second. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's down it away. Next pitch misses, and the count is two and two. Man, it's second. And a weak ground ball to the left side. And foul ball. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Runner at second here. One gone. Off the outside edge with that one. And now it's filled up. Ground ball left side. And it goes just foul. Three balls, two strikes to count. Swing and a ball popped up, and that'll fall for a base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Yeah, the batter now, Aloy Jimenez, and fouled off. Rudders are at the corners, one away. Just missed. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The next pitch misses, two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and fires. Swing it a foul straight back. First and third, one down.
Next offering is down low. And a full count now. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. And that'll nope. load the bases. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this now, ball now, game, now, trying to keep things game. close. Luis. They've been in a difficult spot, and Whoa. things aren't getting any easier. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Ground ball right side could be two. Fires to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Pitch misses ball, inside. Off. Ball one. And that one nope. is inside. inside. The pitch. Hey! And that one fouled off. Lefty out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. Count of three and, two. and a good eye there. Corners are occupied with two down. The 3 2 oh, is four. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right the there, but this inning the still has life. Yasmani. Now the catcher Grandal. up to hit. Yasmani Grandal. This one popped up. Baez gets under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. White Sox four, and the Tigers nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the ninth. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hitter, Spencer Torkelson. And the right hander back to work. And ball nope. one. Outside. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Kendall Graveman appears to be getting loose. Lopez warming up as well. Yeah, now a slow roller to second. Gonzalez. And the leadoff oh. man retired here in the ninth. The batter, the third baseman. Yeah, the batter now, Nick Maton. First nope. offering misses the mark. Left hand hitter waits. Just oh, missed. Just out. That one fouled off two and two. Left hand batter waits. That count is full. Let's go. 
Right side, hard hit. Steps on first for the out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Now, a kill Badu. Ball one, no strikes. And the right-hander deals. That one's in there. And the count one and one. Out to short. Throw to first. Ball game. And the White Sox use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. Nice job. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. be the show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Chicago Cubs. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And on the hill, Justin Steele. What's the word on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Jonathan India leading things off and takes a strike. Here comes a pitch. Slapped foul. And here it comes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. Exactly All yeah. fastballs. The Man, he's got a lot of confidence Matt. in that pitch right now. McLean. Digging in. Matt McLean. Oh. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. At the belt and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. A 1-2. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He circles the bases. Third home run of the season. It's 1-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now it's the rookie first baseman, Spencer Steer. There's the strike of the knees. 0-1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And the pitch. 
That's oh. inside. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside oh. plate coverage. And it is two to one. That misses oh, off the outside edge. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. 3-1 now. 3-1, oh, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a the quick catcher. free pass. Tyler. One down. Yeah, the batter down. Tyler Stevenson. And first offering is fouled off. Step off, throw to first. Oh, he's in there. Steer Sorry. back easily. You one. Swing and all the bat oh, went good. flying there. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. In now for the Reds, Stuart Fairchild. And it's fouled away. The pitch. Foul ball there. Next one oh. misses. One and two to count. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. To first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here at Wrigley Field, and today's starter, Graham Ashcraft. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Go, go. Most guys, they get a little tight. They the start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Nico Horner in the box now. No, no balls ball. and a One strike. Break. The pitch. Ball. One ball, one strike. In the air, out towards right center. One away. Batting Bat second. second. The shortstop. Dansby. Dansby Swanson stands one in. Man. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks, Vanderbilt player in college, College World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. In there for strike one. Dansby Swanson's turned into one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball, Chris, and a lot of the help came from Ron Washington, but Dansby put in the work. One down, base is empty. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Dansby Swanson, after all of that hard work defensively, won himself the gold glove in 2022. Next offering misses, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Started after it, tried to hold up. 
Now a look to first, no swing. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Two outs, base is empty. Ian Happ up to hit. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Can't get there. Base hit. Just a blue hit behind third right the there. Right That's a really tough Stay play up. for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And oh. ball one. Hey. That's in there, and it's one and two. And another okay. ball. Next pitch just misses, and that's ball three. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout, and that's the third out. Cubs leave one. They trail here, one nothing. Back here at the friendly confines. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. Fairchild. The pitch. And that's oh, doubted away. Ball. One and oh. Lifted in the air, right center field. Grabs it on the run. One down. That exists. The third, the third baseman, Nick. Nick. Now it's Senzel. Nick Senzel. There's a strike. Good eye oh, on that spot. Outside. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, Singy. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching. But, you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down. So we'll see how it goes in this one. That one misses. And a count two and one. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, but the other way. Automatic yeah, double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or getting your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. The batter now, Kevin Newman. In the dirt, but kept close. Tag safe. Yes, he made it. He's into third of the wild pitch. Well, that right there can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball's gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it because you're already in scoring position. Well, he was sure there, and now he's only 90 feet away from scoring. The pitch. Hey. One away with a runner at third. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Caught him 
looking for the K. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at-bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. And the batter now, Jake Fraley. And that's in there for strike one. And there's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Tapped on the ground softly to short. Swanson. And that is that. So one left for Cincinnati, but they're on top, 1-0. Here at Wrigley Field, stepping Four in the long out. ball threat, Christopher Morrell. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Singy, this kid's quite a story. Super talented maybe as good an arm as the Cubs have on their team defensively one of their fastest players he debuted at 22 years old after having played 10 games above double a that one a triple digits yeah and a high level of confidence he actually called his first major league home run told some teammates in the dugout that he was going to homer in his first at bat Went up there, hit a 417-foot blast into the left field bleachers. Goes down looking. Well, he locked him up with the cutter on the outside right it. there, and I got to think the he was looking face. middle in because right. he just couldn't pull the trigger. Bad. And you know, with two strikes, fastball coming in, you've got to be ready to swing it. And that time it cut to the outside part of the plate, and he just couldn't pull the trigger. Next offering is fouled back. Oh, and two now. Outside. Two and a ball Touching. evens the count. And now the count filled up three and two. And the righty deals. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Senzel pulls it down, and that is that. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. They're down 1 0. Back here at the ballpark, new He's inning getting away. started. Now at the plate, the Jose Barrero. Jose Barrero. Steele back to work. Ground ball right side. Mancini Out. takes it to the bag. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The bat at number six. Designated hitter. Jonathan. Jonathan Indy at the plate. Struck out swinging his first time. The Reds certainly hit on their first round pick in 2018 when they took Jonathan India, the former Florida Ooh. Gator. He turned into the National League Rookie of the Year in 2021. Just an incredible season with the Cincinnati Reds that year. Kicks and deals. Sinker catches the zone at the knees. Way high.
Next offering is outside. And down on strikes he goes. And two away now. Now it's the shortstop, Matt McClain. The, shortstop. the solo homer Matt his first time. McClain. In there, and it's 0-1. Out towards right center field. Suzuki has a beat on it. And that is that. Offense held in check there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Reds one and the Cubs nothing. Welcome back. Here's some Here real go. power Welcome at the up. plate. Patrick Wisdom. The third baseman. Third baseman. Patrick. Patrick. Wisdom. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Right hander kicks deals. Well, one and one. And a count one and two. Good oh. eye right there. That's Next pitch inside. Full count three That's and two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. This looks like extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Jan Gomes. Pitch misses oh. inside. Ball one. Jan Gomes waits. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. That one misses. The count now two and two. And now it's filled up. Nico Horner in the on deck circle. And he walked him. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here's Nico Horner. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. The 1-0. And hey. that's through there for a strike. One ball, one strike. Ground ball could be two. Quick feed to second for one, and he'll eat it and be happy with the out. The batter, the batter number, number seven. seven. Shortstop. Shortstop. Gensby. Gensby. 
Swanson. And now Dansby Swanson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And first offering is fouled off. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That's a slider for a strike. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Now move to first. Hey. Corner gets back easily. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, yeah. right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Fraley makes the catch inning over. Cubs strand a couple, and it remains 1-0. And welcome back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton, and set to lead off the fourth, Spencer Steer. And a pitch. Right. That one's in there. Strike one. Hold. One strike. Fouled off. He was late. That misses oh. the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Number 40, gliding to his left. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Now batting, the catcher. Here's the Reds Tyler. catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Stevenson. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Liner snagged it first. Well, two goals when you've got the go-ahead run at the plate. Keep him in the ballpark, and then second, keep him off base. Well, that diving stop right there does just that. Excellent job. Two outs, base is empty. Stuart Fairchild, the next to hit for the Reds. First pitch, and he just misses. Liner to second, it picked on the hop. Corner over to first. Third out. And one, two, three go the Reds, but they lead it one to nothing. Ready to go for the last Ready half of the go. inning. Four now the Cubs four hole hitter, Seiya no Suzuki. Seiya Suzuki. And the right hander back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Pitch misses there, and now three and one. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff walk. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. 
And there's one away. Christopher. And here's the DH for the Cubs. Christopher Morell went down on strikes his first time through. That's a strike going one. Well, we call that key holy. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And it's even up. Oh, that's a ball. Slider misses outside. Here's a 2 2. Rip to third. Fires across the diamond. And that quickly, two away. Now well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Trey Mancini now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. His family owns Mancini Peppers, and you know, they produce up to 50,000 pounds of peppers a day. They got roasted peppers, fried, blanched, sweet. Oh. Hot, tangy. Am I making you hungry over there? One. Very hungry. Well, the Mancini family has been farming in Florida since the 1940s. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Cubs are down quietly. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here at Wrigley Field, we go to the top of the fifth. Now, here is Nick Senzel. Senzel. And he deals. And a strike in there. Hard ground ball base knock. He was all over now that bad. one. Once you get the Second ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, Ooh. even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. At the plate, Kevin no, Newman. First offering, and it just one misses. No Good oh. eye right there. Chris, with that Good distraction enough. and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Snap throw to first. Oh, Senzel back on a dive. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Senzel around third. He'll score easily. It's 2 nothing. Back-to-back -back base hits. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now it's going to be Jake Fraley. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, these Reds, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Adbert Alzali throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Rucker getting cranked up as well.
That's a laser base hit. Newman headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. It's three zip. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Justin Steele, done for the day, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. A new arm into the game, the righty, Julian Merriweather. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Julian Merriweather. So up next, Jose Barrero grounded out his first time. In there for strike one. Runner at first with no outs here. Merriweather checks the runner. Fraley back in standing. The 0-1, swung on, popped up, left side. Swanson makes the grab, and there's one down. The bat, bat number, number six, six. Designated, designated hitter, hitter. Jonathan, Jonathan India. India. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Now, Jonathan India. Runner on the goal. Up the middle. Toss to Mancini. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. The bat at number nine. Shortstop. Matt, Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. There's a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Fraley around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. Comes through with the RBI. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Runner at first with two away. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Steer. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right handed reliever, and that one a little bit high. One ball, one strike. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Pickoff throw, and he's back in on a dive. Back over to first, and he's back again. Here's a 2-2. And that just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. And it's ball four. He missed four. down low. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make now a call with that last Cut pitch, that. but neither Tyler. happened. Close pitch, but Stevenson. a good take to earn that walk. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit. And remember, he was absolutely robbed of a base hit last time up. And 
And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Two on, two outs. Oop. And that one fouled off. Righty delivers. Well. First and Good second, team. two down. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Two two on the way. In the dirt, blocked. Quick reactions behind the plate, and he tags him out. So they get three runs on four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Reds four and the Cubs nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. So up now for Chicago, number 40. Number 40. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Cubs showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The starter's pitch count is high because oh. they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Left-hand batter waits. Got it by him for the K. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against Number a hitter like this, Number known 16. for using the entire field. Patrick, Patrick. Just couldn't sit back long enough on Wisdom. that one. Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit, doubled in his first A.B. Pitch misses oh. inside. Ball one. Wisdom, a former first-round pick of the Cardinals back in 2012 from St. Mary's College, same school that produced both Corbin Burns and Tony Gonsolin. Next offering is down low. Now 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges, really execute a pitch. Hopefully you can get back into this count. 2-0 to oh count. Here it comes. And a big on, swing one. and a miss. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And a foul ball. The why to kick the pitch. That misses the Wait zone. Off. And it's three and two. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Fraley snags it on the run. Now batting. The catcher. Yon. Yeah. Go. Now it's Jan Gomes. He reached out a walk his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. That one clips the outside corner. That is strike two. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Righty to the plate. And downstairs. It's a good take. The wind and the pitch. And there's a ball. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And Gomes is retired. And that is that.
And the Cubs are down in order. They trail it here for nothing. Back here at the friendly confines. Here's a speed threat. Stuart Fairchild. Stuart Fairchild. And the pitch. That one, one not ball. close. No and that's ball one. Tap back to the mound. Toss to Mancini. Now one gone in the top of the now sixth. Back. The third baseman, Nick Senzel. Here's the third baseman, Nick Senzel. That's in there, and that's strike one. Now a pop-up on the infield. Mancini makes the grab, two down. Up next for Cincinnati, Cincinnati, the second, the second baseman, baseman, Kevin Newman. Newman. Kevin Newman, the next to hit for the Reds. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Reds four and the Cubs nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom Nico. of the sixth inning. Here's the Cubs' leadoff man, Nico Horner. Nico. Chris, his skill set straight out of the mid-80s. Good contact, not much power, and he could run. He always uses the wheels to his advantage. His biggest challenge in this day and age is to not get caught up in trying to hit home runs because so many people are. Next pitch misses. And one and one. He just has to understand that his skill set is unique and he's very valuable for any ball club. If he does that, he'll play a long time in this league. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Off to a good start with a leadoff knock. Everything came together for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive into center field. So that definitely felt good. And up next for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. This splits between April and May there. Swanson. Nobody out. Runner at first. Line drive, caught. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. The left fielder, number, number eight. eight. Now eight. here is Ian Happ. Yeah. Happ, in his sixth season, 28 years old, and he won a gold glove last season. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Seiya Suzuki, the next Cub to hit. In the air, out towards right center. Fraley got to get an angle on it. Pulls it in on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for the Cubs. They're on the short end of a 4-0 score. Here at Wrigley Field, top of inning number seven. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. 
Merriweather back to work. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Well struck right field. That one ops against the fence. Fraley into second and he's got a double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. So man aboard next for Cincinnati Jose Barrero. And first offering is fouled off. Man at second. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Runner at second, nobody out. Struck him out looking. Well, oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up. And as a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. India batting with one down takes a strike. The next oh. offering misses. One and one. Oh. And now one oh. and two. Here comes a pitch. Ball two. Two and two. Swing and a base hit. Fraley rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. It's 5 0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. And now the shortstop, Matt McClain. Huh. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. At the belt and fires. And now it's even up. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. The pitch. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Two strikes. Many times hitters looking out over the, the plate. When seven. you're looking out over the plate, you're Spencer. also going to let the ball travel a little Here. bit longer. And a fastball zipped on the inside corner just locks you up. Steer in the box with two gone no and takes a look at a called strike. The pitch just no, missed. The ball. One ball, one strike. There Steer tries to hold up, appeal to first. He did not go around. Fouls one off, two and two. Good eye right there. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two.
That one the other way, and it stays fair. India around second, headed for third. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Now bad catch it. Tyler. So here's the cleanup hitter, Tyler Stevenson. That's in for a strike. Two outs. That's a ball. One and one. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One and two. Yeah, the one two oh, misses two. to even the count. Two and two. Got him swinging on the curveball. Good job at damage control right there. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Reds five and the Cubs nothing. Welcome back. And now the DH, Christopher Morell. The designated hitter, Christopher Morell. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Rip to short. Tosses across yeah. the first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open now the seventh. Five. The first, the first baseman, baseman, Trey Mancini. And next for the Cubs, Trey Mancini, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Just off the outside edge, and it's one to no. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at two and zero. Oh. That no, one off the mark, the mark, and that's ball three. And there's ball, ball four. four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was Number not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Man at first with one gone. Here's the center fielder. Number 40. First pitch oh. doesn't find the zone. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. Fernando Cruz, the rookie right-hander, is getting loose. Herget getting loose as well. And the righty deals. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Runner stays where he is, but the count moves to 2 and 0. Oh. Left-hand hitter waits. That misses. Three balls, no strikes. And a strike. Hard hit, left field, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Wisdom up oh. for the third time here. Watches oh, no. that one miss. One out. Runners at first and second. 
upstairs. Oh, These the fans, they are ready to cheer Keep about something. Good hitters count the 2-0. Two and one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And that one hammered Barrero, raging back towards the wall. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was now holding that in this ballpark. Young. Yeah. Go. Here's the catcher, Jan Gomes. Bounced up the middle. McLean. They take the He's force out. out, and that is the inning. Cubs strand a couple. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Adbert Alzala on a pitch out of the pen here. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Stuart Fairchild now at the plate. Fairchild. And he deals. Foul ball. And here it comes. Ball oh. one there. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Oh, great stop. The throw, and he gets him. Nicely done. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Nick Senzel, the next to hit for the Reds. And that's in there for strike one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Mark Leiter Jr. preparing to come on if needed. The 0-2. That one missed. And he dodges that fastball. The 2-2. Two -two. Stays alive. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. The 2-2. Two -two. Three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. The bat. Two the outs, base is empty. Kevin. In now for the Reds, Kevin Newman. 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 Just oh, missed. Okay. 
In the air, center field. Number 40 has a beat on it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing here this half. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Reds five and the Cubs nothing. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the ball, players ball. that we see day in, day out. The 1 0. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Swing and a ground ball out to short. To first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now that is shortstop. Dansby. So up now for Chicago, Dansby Swanson. In there, and it's 0 1. No ball, one strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The 0-2. In the air, foul off first, and a foul ball. And the 0-2. And there's One a ball. ball. Two strike. Bows it off, still one and two. And that's oh. a little bit high. Here's the 2 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Comes the 2-2. Two -two. That's inside. Recognize that okay. changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a swing and a miss. Two away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a no pitch to hit and no just couldn't get to it. I think that slider... Really caught way ah. more of the plate than it was supposed to. And here comes David Bell as he's ready to make the change. Go to his bullpen. Graham Ashcraft departs, and he was excellent. Really controlled this game on the mound. And we'll have a new arm for you in a minute. So they turn things over to the righty, Fernando Cruz. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Ian Happ, the next Cub to hit. That one ran oh. inside, almost got him. One well, this manager okay. knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. To the right side. He takes it himself yeah. to the bag, and that'll do it. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. It's 5 nothing. All set for the start of the inning. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Jake Fraley. Alzali, 28 years old. And he was born in Venezuela. And a pitch. Inside corner at the knees. That's a strike. Good fastball.
Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So digging in, Jose Barrero. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive no, right here. Safe. Checks over to first, back safely. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. And the right-hander deals. There's a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count. And clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. It's softly on the ground left side. No chance on the throw. He beats it out. The bat, bat number six, six. designated, designated hitter. hitter. Jonathan so back to the top of the Reds lineup. India. Jonathan India digs in now. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. On the ground a second. Might be two. Throws it away. And they won't get him, and he goes first to third on the error. Well, you're already down in the game, and not just by a couple. And then that error allows a run to score, and this is where things can really start to fall apart. As a team, they need to pick themselves up, find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton, and the batter will be the shortstop, Matt McClain. First pitch, just misses. Base runners at second and third here, no outs. That's a strike, and it's one and one. One, one strike. Ground ball to the right side. One away as the second run of the inning scores. The first baseman, number seven, Spencer Steer. And here is Spencer Steer. Slice the other way and foul. And the 01. A little out front there as he swings through it. And it squirts away from Gomes. And now it's one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the, the opposite bat. kind of the approach that you want Tyler. with two strikes. You want to let the ball travel. Jesus. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. Stevenson, oh. the batter oh. now, as he holds up his swing for ball one. Next pitch and downstairs, ball. and it's 2-0. and oh. Right-handed reliever, and now 2-1. One. One strike. Good Three eye right ball. there. 3-1.
Two outs with a runner at third. So now Thank two you, on and two outs. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much now to think about. Let Let Michael Rucker will take over here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Next for Cincinnati, Stuart Fairchild. And first offering is fouled off. Corners are occupied with two down. Next pitch inside. And now it's even one and one. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. And that one hit 97 on the gun. So two runs in the inning on one base hit, an error, but two are left stranded. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. It's the Reds seven and the Cubs nothing. Back here at Wrigley Field, bottom nine. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole, Seiya Suzuki. And the pitch. Strike one. No ball, one strike. All in one now. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. Out towards right center field. Fraley should have it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Now, now back, the designated, designated hitter. hitter. Chris now it'll be the Cubs DH. Mar Christopher Morrell. High in the air, out to right. Fraley really on his horse for it. Makes the grab on the run. And there are two down. Up next for the Cubs. Cubs. The first base. base. One out left Trey. for the Cubs. And up Man next for Chicago, TV. Trey Mancini. First oh. offering misses the mark. One to know. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Down to their final strike. That one just misses. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.